Original audio drama from the Questus Theatre. The Resignation Speech, a short play by Jamie King. Don't cry. That's all you really have to do. Not cry. So. It has been. Okay. It has been the honour of my life. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't say that. No, 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 no. That makes me sound sad. <sighs> I am sad. Hmm. I am sad. <laughs> there. Hey! Excuse me, I'm looking for the leader of the opposition. Orla something. Looks like you actually, but with massive shoulder pads. <laughs> Stop <laughs> pissing around, come in Josh. Right, because I just came to say you're a shit leader. The party's in ruins, and I've decided to vote UKIP instead. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. You sound just like my mother. Come here. <laughs> How are you, soldier? Well, it took me ten minutes just to get into the building, so... I, they wouldn't let me in this morning, you know. I said to the guy in the door, do you not recognise this face from somewhere? Not trying to be arrogant, but... And did he? He looked at me for a solid ten seconds and then went... Oh, you was an I'm a celeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 you could be. After all this is over, do you want to do that? I'm a celeb? Oh, please. I'm the leader of the opposition, not one half of the fucking crankies. Have a seat. I don't know. I mean, we are a bit like the crankies, me and you. I mean, I'm the speechwriter. So I'm the one coming up with the words, and you're like the ventriloquist dummy, saying them out loud. <laughs> Can't this ventriloquist dummy tell her own jokes sometimes? Oh, you want to break up the double act? Nah. I guess someone's got to stand behind me and look pretty. Why don't you hire someone pretty, then? Dunno. So, what's the first line? I thought. Something that really sets the tone for the whole speech. I am sad. Oh. Well, that ought to do it. Never mind that. Don't cry, will you? Halfway through the speech. No, I know. Or at any point. That's the worst bloody thing you can do is start crying. I know. So, is this it then? This speech? Months of speculation and then... This is actually how you're going to tell people, tell the world? No press briefing, no series of cryptic tweets, you're just going to walk out there and say it? Yep. Knock them dead. It's a bit of a risky strategy, isn't it? Is it? What am I risking? Nobody else knows about this, do they? You actually haven't told anyone. Bloody hell, Orla! You really haven't told anyone what you're going to do. Except me. Why me? I'm so leaky. I leak information more frequently than anyone in the whole party. I'm leakier than a cabinet minister in a paddling pool. I don't need anyone else here. Fuck! Is that why no one's here? Is that why we're not surrounded by the usual feeding frenzy of political strategists? I don't want them. I don't want Salma. Or Camille. And I certainly don't want fucking Geoffrey. 
How did you get rid of them all? Told them I was having a meeting with Plaid Cymru. <laughs> well, that'll do it. So, maybe you and me can actually get something done? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Do you know, I don't think that in the seven years that I've worked for, that I've been writing your speeches, that we've ever, that it's ever just been me and you in the same room on our own. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Probably because they think you're a bad influence. <laughs> I am. Good. <laughs> influence me. Okay. You start with a declaration. Bold, authoritative, a little bit wacky about the whole past seven years. Mm -hmm. Something like, I could not be prouder of this party over the last seven years. Should I start with I, though? Yes, because it's personal. People respond to personal. And then we can get some facts in later. Over the past seven years, our economic policies have oh, been... Oh, Christ, don't talk about the economy. You might as well go out there and tell them you've got cystitis. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should tell them I've got cystitis. You wanted to make it personal. Not that bloody personal. Let's work on the next line. Hmm. Have you got cystitis? No. What do I need to... Oh. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm excited to announce today that I haven't got cystitis, contrary to rumour. <laughs> and now I'd like to announce that I am resigning. And now I'd like to announce that I'm... Resigning. Oh, fuck. I'd like to announce today that after seven years as leader of the opposition and leader of this party, I have decided to resign. I... Um, I said that this was the first time we'd actually written a speech together, like, just me and you, but... It's also the last time. Is that like... Is that kind of why you set this up? Because you basically wanted us to hang out together, to have one chance to hang out before you... Before it all stops forever. You spend so much time around people, telling you what to wear, what to do how to smile look over there do this now 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 it's all oh i've spent seven years shitting myself in the middle of a hurricane and in a hurricane you can't hang on to anything you spend so much time around people and yet you can't i can't hang on to anyone so i kind of wanted to yeah you don't need people telling you how to smile. Your smile is lovely. I've always thought that. Well, that's because I do smile when you're around. You've always made me smile. Ah, I bet you've got loads of people in your life to make you smile. Someone like you. <laughs> Someone like me. There is no one like me. This job. There's no leaders of the opposition support group. There's no water cooler to chat round or whatever it is. Just advice. Advisors. Meetings. Journalists. Events. People. But not people that I ever get to just hang out with, become mates with, become... Oh, something. That's why I'm glad I never ended up becoming Prime Minister. I mean, because then I'd just be even lonelier. God, imagine how the Queen must feel. What the hell must it be like for her? How on earth has the woman not gone completely insane? <sighs> Power. 
It's the loneliest feeling in the world. Okay, tell me, what's the dream? What are you going to do? First day, after you've resigned, quit politics forever. Well, you'll pop up every now and again on Newsnight to bitch about government policy, but not for a good 12 months. So, once you've quit all this shit, day one of freedom, Aura Fitzpatrick, former leader of the opposition, what you gonna do? I don't know. Get pissed? <laughs> <laughs> Get really pissed. <laughs> on what? Gin. I'm going to get trashed on gin and lemonades, lying on the sofa in front of Strictly Come Dancing and oh, <laughs> do fuck all. <laughs> I'm going to do the garden. I'm going to pull up all the hideous, massive rhododendrons from the previous owners. Oh. And I'm going to spend my afternoons putting in some nice, bright roses and tulips and normal things. Um, what colour are these roses and tulips going to be? Every colour of the fucking rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds beautiful. You should come round and help. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. You could. Listen, um, I was going to save this till the end, till we finish the speech, but I want to do it now because... I don't know if you remember, but when we did that conference, the party conference in Bournemouth, mm. and we had that afternoon where me and you and Jerry and Salma and, yeah. a, and a bunch of people went out to those little shops. Yeah, I remember. Where's this going? What have you done? Well, it's nothing. Just, you remember we ended up in that bookshop? Yeah, of course I remember it. Promenade Books by the Seafront. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if you remember, but you were looking at this children's book, like an antique one. Yeah, Lucy's Secret Forest. Because I had it when I was a kid. There's all these stories about Lucy and her magical forest. I, I said my dad used to... Yeah, your dad used to read it to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I stuck around after you guys left the shop because I thought that one day I'd... Oh. But from summer till now, you kept... I thought maybe as a birthday present. Oh. But I guess it works as, like, a leaving present. Oh. There she is, Lucy. Josh. Yeah? Oh, I wore these pages out. She has this family that, oh, they're really strict, but she runs away to the forest. I honestly wasn't going to cry today. Oh, look. look I, I, come here. Come here. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it wasn't meant to make you sad. It wasn't meant to make you sad. It's going to be okay. Be okay. I promise. Am I getting it right, Josh? Do I run to the forest now? Am I getting it right? What do you want, Aura? I want... Oh. I want so much. And not all of it involves changing the world. I love changing the world, and honestly, I think I've done it. I made laws happen that saved people's lives. I made people talk about things. In living rooms and in pubs that change the way that they see the world, see each other. I went on TV night after night as a clever, articulate, compassionate leader and change the way women see themselves. 
I had a word in the ear of lots of brilliant women at exactly the right moment. And they'll be changing the world long after I'm gone. I didn't do it all. But no one does it all. I still did fantastically. I still counted for good. Your life has to count. Everyone's life must count. That's the one thing any politician should believe. I think everyone is given their lifetime in order to have the time of their life, to feel alive, both in the noise and in the quiet. Because I've loved this noisy job. I have loved having my turn at power. But human beings don't just want power. There's plenty of other stuff out there to dream about. And I'm going to go and get it. So today, after seven years as leader of the opposition and leader of this party, I have decided to resign. And, for the record, I shall not be appearing on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Thank you, and good morning. So now we've just got to debrief the office and stop by the central lobby. Okay. Or we could stop off at McDonald's. McDonald's? Oh, I've not been there in ages. Do you want to go? Sure. You're going to get a Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we're both going to get Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying. Bitch! In the resignation speech by Jamie King, Orla was played by Caroline Bleakley, Josh was played by Roger Beaumont, the audio designer was Lizzie Turner, the audio engineer was Laurie Swan. The play was directed by Paul Collins. With thanks for their support to Samantha Boffin, Russell Fleet and James Connor. This was an original audio drama from the Questers Theatre.